Oh, we got some snow on the lens. Hold up, y'all. I gotta clean this off. Or maybe we should just roll with it, right? All right, here we go. <laughs> The first of 2021's 12 beers of Christmas is Snowstorm Oat Stark Beer from Shell's Brewery. This year's 12 beers of Christmas series is brought to you with support from Imperial Yeast and our favorite Patreon party people. Join them at patreon.com slash chop and brew. What's going on everybody? Welcome to Chop and Brew. It is the 12 beers of Christmas 2021. And as you can see, it's a perfect night to kick it off because here in Minneapolis, St. Paul, we are having a snowstorm, the first big blast of the season. We've had a couple of smaller ones. Um, but man, 12 beers of Christmas, 13, oh, well, 12, <laughs> 12 beers, 12 videos for each night from the 13th to the 24th, and we're kicking it off right now, man. So as all good Midwesterners know, no snowstorm is, uh, no two snowstorms are the same. That is the line from Shell's Brewing down in New Ulm, Minnesota, and this is their beer. It's a part of their Snowstorm series, coincidentally enough. So every year, Shells, which is one of the oldest breweries in the country, like pre-Civil War um, down in New Ulm, they brew a beer special for the holidays. It's never the same thing twice. This year, it is an Oat Stark beer. And uh, a Stark beer, if you do a little bit of research, means strong beer in... Um, German. It doesn't have anything to do with the alcohol strength of the beer per se. It's more about the amount of dissolved solids as in starch in the beer. And it's got a little bit of history with uh, monks brewing for Lent or drinking for Lent when they can't eat but they can drink. Uh, I'm going to post a couple of articles I found, but that's neither here nor there to some extent. What we're here to do is taste the oat stark beer. Uh, Shells will tell you that it's Munich, Victory and a blonde roast oat, which I've never heard of before this. Calypso hops, Liberty. Whew, my notes are getting covered with snow at this point. Um, Munich forward, obviously, like Munich is clearly the base malt. It's 6.1% ABV, 25 IBUs. It is the 2021 22 snowstorm. I basically call it like an Oktoberfest for winter with that huge Munich base malt bill. It does this Oktoberfesty thing, but it's also got a lot of hot presence between that Liberty and Calypso. Some like stone fruit, a little bit of citrus, but nothing like American style. Um, I kind of liken it to an Oktoberfest meets a fest beer because a fest beer is kind of a paler, drier, more bitter take on the festival beer, whereas the Oktoberfest over the years has become this more malty, rich deep this is kind of like a perfect combination of both of them you can see that color it is awesome i'd love to know more about what a blonde roast oat is i assume it's just kind of like a tier of roasting blonde then maybe you get into like a little bit more roasted toasty burnt as you're going up the scale i'm between snow blowing rounds <laughs> at the moment uh, so this is like keeping me well powered for the effort i do need to get some gloves on pretty soon because it is damn chilly out here but um yeah i really love this beer shells is just like a powerhouse lager brewery and have been for 100 plus years so um it's not shocking that they would totally kill a style like this um their fire brick is a perennial winner of the like amber lager category at gabf And this, um, like I said, big Munich, bready, toasty, but still kind of dry-ish finish. Just really enjoyable beer to kick off this series. Some of the beers that you're about to see in the 12 Beers of Christmas are brewed with a lot of wild, eccentric, um, unique ingredients. Whereas this is like a classic, traditional style, a historical style, a look back but a perfect beer for this kind of went for this kind of winter weather. The packaging notes kind of refer to the oats as giving it this creamy mouthfeel that leads into a crisp finish versus a lot of lagers that would just kind of be crisp throughout. And I definitely feel that that creamy mouthfeel kind of makes you feel again like, oh, an Oktoberfest on the top and then a fest beer on the bottom. So Oktoberfest for the winter, oat, stark beer 
from Shells, August Shells Brewing in New Ulm. One beer of Christmas in the bag. Tune in tomorrow for the second beer of Christmas, which is actually one of two Guess That Beer installments of this year's 12 Beers of Christmas. I'm going to put a beer in front of a couple people. They're going to kind of guess what is the unique ingredients and maybe what dessert that beer is trying to emulate. And I won't tell you which beer it is because you might need to guess at home. Cheers. See you tomorrow. 12 Beers of Christmas. Chop for chop. Brew for brew.